Hello. You're watching Cooking Food with Fu. Fu? This morning I plan on making a absolutely delicious non-traditional Japanese dish. That's right. If there's any weebs watching right now, this is a meal for you. That's right. Now, ever since I was a little kid, in the little suburb I was raised in, they would have an annual, like, Japanese fair type of thing in the town. And there was this dish that they served called yakisoba. I'm telling you, yakisoba is so fucking good. I'd like you to know also that if you see Maruchan brand yakisoba in the supermarket, that is not fucking yakisoba. No, it fucking isn't. No, 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 no. Let me show you what I'm going to be cooking with today. Okay, I'm going to be making four dishes, homemade ghetto ass TV dinners, I'm not using salt, fuck you salt, this is the main part, this is yakisoba noodle bowl, make these in the microwave. Let's look at the ingredients. It says a bold and savory wok inspired mix with crisp vegetable. That's it. Noodles and vegetables and sauce. Are you fucking shitting? Noodles, vegetables, and sauce? You fucking shitting me? <sighs> this brings to mind a traditional question asked by an old lady in a Wendy's commercial. She asked, Where's the beef? Well, here it is on top of my radiator. Fine. I've got one pound. Separate that into four to make four meals. So a quarter pound of beef. Per yakisoba meal. I throw this all together, do it in a very special order. I'm going to use this ghetto ass oil for the beef and the beef alone. And I won't be adding any spices to the beef. Nope, the beef is going to be straight up because I want the flavoring to come from this and this alone. Can you read that? Camera, can you fucking focus, please? Yeah, sauce packet. That sauce is the bomb.com, motherfucker. Alright. I'll come back in a little bit after beef thaws to get down to business. I'll be back shortly. Now, the instructions take tell me to completely remove the lid and uh, get the noodles in the bowl. Get the um, dry topping in there and a quarter cup of water. I'm doing, gonna do this with all four of my little yakisoba bullshits. So, already got the pasta in there. Let's add the veggies. There they are. Now, very carefully, quarter cup of water, there we are, and we'll put this in the microwave for two minutes. Show me two minutes. 
Here we go. Press start. Okay. Now it's going to tell me to put this in after and it's done. But the way I'm making this is the sauce will be added to everything, which is the yakisobas combined with the beef. Sauce goes in last to flavor everything. Let's get the beef started, shall we? Now to cook the beef, I'm going to need oil. Vegetable or corn is ideal, especially corn, but not available. So, we're going to have to go with canola. I don't even know what the fuck a canola is, to be honest with you. So get just enough oil in there to get a nice light glaze of oil upon the pan. That ought to do the trick. Now I shall add the beef to the pan. Hmm, that was easy. Remove this freshness sheet. Throw that in the trash. Along with the... Are you recyclable? No, you ain't. Suck my dick. Hit this in the trash. And I'm going to push down all this beef against the pan so it cooks faster. But first, quick rinse of my hand. Here we are. Push this. Oh, it's still a bit frozen. Yes, it is. Okay. I'll just have to work it by hand and break it apart like this. And uh, cook it on a low heat to give it a good thaw. Come on, come on, come on, break apart. Oh, well, that's the best I'm going to be able to do for now. Get this heat nice and low. Nice and low, like... I don't know. That low? Yeah, that's nice and low. I wonder if this lid will fit. Nope, too small. I have another lid in the cellar that should do. I'm giving my hand in the rinse. So. That should be good enough. And in my cellar, there is a lid made for a pan that size that I have on the stove top. Move this bag out of the way. It has fucking aluminum foil containers in it. A couple plastic containers. This is the lid I'll fucking use. <clears throat> Sorry, children. <laughs> yeah, my cooking shows are not for kids. No, they fucking ain't. Get the lid on there. We're good. So we're going to let that thaw. And I'm going to make more of these yakisoba things while the beef thaws. Let me get to that. All right, let's check out the beef. Uh, 
gonna give it some squishing down with a spatula to see if it's um, solid well enough. Oh yeah. Squish that down nice. Now I'm gonna do some chopping. See that it's brown some also. Okay, it's thawed. Let's add some heat. Put the lid back on. Okay, that's gonna get cooked up. Now these sauce packets here. This, I was thinking. I'm going to combine these finished pasta and fucking yakisoba and vegetables. Throw it all together in there and then throw it in the sauce also. But what I'm actually going to do is just mix in the yakisoba with the veggies along with the beef. Then I'll put them in containers like this. And then I'll add the sauce packages per container. And I think that'll give it the optimum flavor per container. Let me um, work on this beef now. All right. Beef is fucking ready and fucking beautiful. I'm going to turn down the heat now. Here we go. Gonna let that get a little quiet. And then I'm gonna start adding these yakisoba portions. Give that a few moments, I'm going to grab myself a quick beverage. Recycle bin. Alright, that got oh, nice and quiet. Let's add the yakisoba. There we are. Now I'm going to switch from spatula to spoon.
stirring this all up. the beef mixed in with the yakitori. And now, I believe it's mixed well enough, let's get yakisoba in containers. I know you don't want to watch my boring ass portioning all right I'll take care of this and then I'll come back when it's time to add the sauce now my four meals all need the final touch that is sauce packet Sauce packet opening, reveal yourself. I'm going to need fucking scissors. Fuck me. Mm. That sauce tastes so fucking good. Stir it up. And that meal is done. Get out to the side. Let's see if this soft packet opens easily. Well, 
Why is it when I'm not making a fucking video, it's easy to open these fucking things, but when I am, scissors, fucking pain in my fucking ass. There. And I'll get this sauce on this meal now. Spread that all around. Squeeze the packet. And another taste test. Mm. Oh. So fucking good. I'll stir this one up. No, get back in that container, you bitch. Fuck you. Okay. That meal is complete. Now this meal. Can I open this fish with ease? Of course not. So I'll squish it all down inside. Grab my scissors. Mmm. Mmm. Sauce is so fucking good. Oh my fucking god. Stir it around. Badgies back in there. Now finally, this last dish here is going to be the one that I eat. So you can see my enjoyment of this fantastic recipe that was mostly made by somebody else but needed a special additive from me. That would be the meat. Mm. Right. 
throw out these sauce packets. Stir this up. Now, for the best, best part of all my videos, you get to watch me enjoy one of my meals. Let's see how I can set this up. You can see my full enjoyment. That ought to work. See your work? You get a fork. Oh, yes. <clears throat> I know this is going to be so good. One of these days I'm going to buy MSG, I promise. So far, I'm good. Mm. Mm. so be beefy, delicious. Okay, I think I'm done teasing you with my good food. Oh. You can find it on Amazon. You can pay for it with food stamps on Amazon, believe it or not. But it's Annie Chen's Noodle Box. Yaki soba and damn, it's so fucking good.